thanks so much for coming to read with me today. My name's Lolly, and today I have a special book called Too Much Noise. I got this at a book sale, and I love book sales because sometimes you can find treasures that somebody's all done reading, but then you can discover the story after that. So I just discovered this one the other day, and I really like it, and I want to share it with you guys. It has a lot of animals in it, and I love animals. So I hope you guys like this story. Too Much Noise A long time ago there was an old man. His name was Peter, and he lived in an old house. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, outside the wind blew the leaves through the trees, the leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter. He looks kind of grumpy, doesn't he? Hmm. Peter went to see the wise man of the village. What can I do? Peter asked the wise man. My house makes too much noise. My bed creaks. My floor squeaks. The wind blows the leaves through the trees. The leaves fall on the roof. Swish, swish. My tea kettle hisses, or whistles. Hiss, hiss. What do you think he should do? Oh, I can help you, the wise man said. I know what you can do. What, said Peter. Get a cow, said the wise man. What good is a cow, said Peter. But Peter got a cow anyhow. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Get a donkey, said the wise man. What good is a donkey, said Peter, but Peter got a donkey anyhow. Do you think that's going to make his house quieter or noisier? Let's see. The donkey said, hee-haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. Still too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the old wise man. Get a sheep, said the wise man. What good is a sheep, said Peter. But Peter got a sheep anyhow. He's looking frustrated now. I think he's like, oh, this is not helping my situation. The sheep said, bah, bah. The donkey said, hee-haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. I think his house is getting noisier, not quieter. Hmm. Too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Get a hen, said the wise man. What good is a hen, said Peter, but Peter got a hen anyhow. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to work. What do you think? Let's see. The hen said, cluck, cluck. The sheep said, bah, bah. The donkey said, hee-haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Get a dog, the wise man said, and get a cat, too. What good is a dog, said Peter, or a cat? But Peter got a dog and a cat anyhow. Oh, poor Peter. I think it's going to be noisier. What do you think? The dog said, woof, woof. The cat said, meow, meow. The hen said, cluck, cluck. The sheep said, bah, bah. The donkey said, hee-haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. 
seems like not only Peter is getting frustrated, but all the other animals are a little confused too. Now Peter was angry. See, there's his angry face. Ah! Oh. He went to the wise man. I told you my house is too noisy, he said. I told you my bed creaks, my floor squeaks, the leaves fall on the roof, swish, swish, the tea kettle whistles, hiss, hiss. Ah! You told me to get a cow. All day the cow says, moo, moo. You told me to get a donkey. All day the donkey says, hee-haw. You told me to get a sheep. All day the sheep says, baa, baa. You told me to get a hen. All day the hen says, cluck, cluck. You told me to get a dog and a cat. All day the dog says, woof, woof. All day the cat says, meow, meow. I'm going crazy, said Peter. That is a lot of noise. The wise man said, do what I tell you. Let the cow go. Let the donkey go. Let the sheep go. Let the hen go. Let the dog go. Let the cat go. So Peter let the cow go. Bye cow. He let the donkey go. Bye donkey. He let the sheep go. Bye sheep. He let the hen go. Bye hen. He let the dog go. Bye dog. And he let the cat go. Bye cat. Now, no cow says moo moo, no donkey says hee haw, no sheep says baa baa, no hen says cluck cluck, no dog says woof woof, no cat says meow meow. The bed creaked, <sighs> said Peter, what a quiet noise. The floor squeaked, oh, said Peter, what a quiet noise. Outside, the leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. Inside, the tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. Ah, oh, oh, said Peter, how quiet my house is. He looks pretty happy, doesn't he? He's got a big smile on his face. He's not angry anymore. He's happy. <laughs> and Peter got into his bed and went to sleep and dreamed a very quiet dream. And that is the end of the book. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to rewatch this one, then you can even do all of the animal noises along with me. Thanks again. I'm Molly, and I will see you later, alligators.